Hi guys. Okay, so I had said that I was gonna start a new project. Um, as you guys know, I my my YouTube channel is about different um, topics, and I vlog about all kinds of different things. But today, um, today's vlog, today's topic, is about um, anxiety. I know a lot of people in the United States um, battle with um, some form of mental illness, anxiety, or depression. So, um, since this is a, a topic that's very uh, close to me, I I thought I would address it. I uh, I've been um, I've been reading a lot of uh, of stuff on it. Um, not a lot of people like to talk about about this, I guess. Um, but I have found some YouTube channels that I have have been very helpful. Um, to me and I and not only by reading but also by um, looking at all these videos on YouTube I've been able to educate myself more on on these uh, on these issues and on these uh, topics but um, today I want to talk about how anxiety affects my life because I know everybody's different and um, everybody experiences it in a different way so um okay well I don't know the exact um, time when my anxiety started in my life um, I do know that I've been battling it uh, with it for for many years now um, and I do remember that as a child I was a very uh, nervous person I was a very nervous ch child I was every always very jumpy and and shaky and and just um not hyper but just jumpy and um and just very like nervous. Um so yeah, um like I said, I don't remember exactly when it started. Um you know, I remember uh, as a child being very nervous, like I said, so I don't know if I was born that way or, and then it got worse over the years. Um, what I do know is that I've been battling with it for a while now, and um, and it does, it does get worse at times. Um, I guess you could say there are good days, but there are also um, bad days where you feel the anxiety more more intense than other days. Um, I found this, uh, YouTube channel, uh, where this girl, um, talks a lot about these, um, these, uh, topics that have to do with, uh, uh mental health, um, you know, anxiety, depression, uh, cutting, but I think her, her channel uh, focuses more on self-injury. So, um, that's a topic that I can't really relate to because I never in any way, um, have uh, injured myself or been a cutter or anything like that and I know that is a very sensitive um, subject for many um, I do know that many people um, even though they have not come out with it but I, I know there are tons and tons of people out there that battle with with self-injury but um but you know this is not um, this is not one of those topics I, I choose to talk about because I don't know much about it because I've never had had to battle it with it in my life and and I thank God for that um but um but you know uh watching this channel um I got the inspiration to start these videos of um you know mental health and stuff like that so um let me see where can I start um I know a lot of people probably want to you know I didn't receive any questions or anything because like I said I started this project on my own and I I um I didn't tell anybody about it until now this is the first video that I make about it um so nobody knew that I was going to do this so um maybe the questions will come in afterwards I don't know but I did um I did write down some things that um that that you know that I thought maybe people would be interested interested in knowing um if they were to ask questions you know mostly they would probably ask about symptoms or how do you cope or whatever so um one of the things that I've noticed about me um over the years I used to like talking on the phone a lot and um I'm sorry I'm fixing my lamp because it just almost fell on me <laughs> okay um I used to be a chatter all the time on the phone with my friends. Um, 
I like talking a lot on the phone. And I've noticed that over the years, as my anxiety has gotten worse, I just can't stand being on the phone. Like, I'd rather text or go online and chat with, with people than actually be on the telephone for, like, minutes or hours or whatever. And um, if sometimes if I do find myself on the phone uh, with someone, if the if the minutes are extending and I'm I, I start to get really anxious, and and I just want to like hang up, <laughs> and um, so yeah, that's that's one of the symptoms that I've noticed that over the years, um, you know, how it how it has affected my life and how it it has changed over the years, um. Another thing is waiting. I know, like, a lot of people hate waiting, you know. Like, that also has to do a lot with patience and stuff like that. But me, it's, like, it's awful. Uh, re um, there's this thing called um, restless leg syndrome. And I think I have that because I will be sitting somewhere and I just can't, I can't stand still. I'll have to, like, be shaking my leg <laughs> constantly while I wait or whatever. Or even if I'm not waiting. I mean, sometimes I find myself... Just relaxed, you know, with the family, just chilling, watching TV, and and all of a sudden my leg is just like shaking constantly, and and I can't help it. And um, even when I sleep I, at night, my husband sometimes asks me, "Why are you shaking?" <laughs> and I can't. I'm like, I don't know. I just like I'm anxious. I can't. I can't stop shaking my leg, you know. And um, I mean, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not. It's not fun whatsoever. It's 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 horrible to have to deal with anxiety because um you know you don't feel calm most of the time you're always like jumpy and and it just sucks <laughs> but um i know that i am not alone in this i know a lot of people out there battle with um not only anxiety but depression and and all sorts of uh mental illness and disorders and you know like i said i've been reading a lot about it and and it, it's like, like I said before, it's, it's a subject, oh, sorry, it's a subject that not many like to talk about because a lot of people think that if you talk about it, people are going to think that you're crazy. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're crazy just because you're battling with some form of, of uh, mental illness. Um, you know, these, these illnesses are, are real. They're real. They're, um just like any other illness so um you know I thought I would break the ice by starting this video on on this topic about anxiety and um I hope I get some feedback um you know if you guys want to share your experiences um what exactly is that you battle with um you know whether it be anxiety or or depression or any other kind of um of, of disorder um for you guys to feel free to share and to um and to talk about in your in your videos uh your symptoms your experiences how you deal with it how how you cope with it um me i would say that i i I probably cope in different ways because I really don't take any med medication for my anxiety. Um, like I've mentioned in many of my other uh, videos, I am not much of a, of a prescription drug taker. So I, I, try to, I try to stay away from prescription drugs as, as much as I can unless it's extremely necessary. But... Um, I find that over the years, um, what helped me a lot too was, um, you know, my, I, I have a personal masseuse that she, she comes to my house and, um, she brings all her stuff. She brings her massage table, her oils, lotions, what, whatever it is that she uses for, for her, um, massage therapy. And that seems to help a lot. It, it, it helps to uh, calm you down. I've read somewhere that the, the most effective way for um to treat someone with um with any form of anxiety is a massage you know um i know they could be very expensive um i used to pay like 
fifty dollars for an hour. So you know, and there, I, I mean, that's cheap compared to what um other prices out there that that they have. I mean, if you go to a spa alone, just for a massage alone, they charge you like seventy five dollars an hour. So um, with this lady, I got really lucky. I haven't seen her in years. I still have her number, her information. Um, she's a wonderful woman. She has great hands. Um, and she's British. She's from England. And, and she's just like a wonderful, great person. Um, but um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done one in years because I, I stopped working a while back after my son was born. So, um, you know, we only got one income coming in the house now, which is my husband's. And I am a stay-at-home mom, so um, <laughs> I can't afford a, a, a masseuse like every two weeks or once a month like I used to do before. But um, that is, I would say that is my number one uh, way of releasing stress and anxiety and, and coping with it um, in my life. Um, another one that really works for me is... Um, it's like a form of, let me see if I can say it right, <laughs> a form of escapism. Um, you just, like, you focus on something that you really like and you just escape for, even if it's just for a few minutes or a few hours. Um, you know, I find that um, a lot of this stuff helps for me. Like, uh, I am a major fan of the classics. Anything that has to do with a uh, classic film, old movies, um and movie stars so i i opened up a, a forum i opened up um websites that um i invest you know a lot of time on these forums and um and just research all over the net and you know chat about my favorite uh, movie stars movies um post pictures online about about it whatever um I find that that helps a lot too, you know, just doing stuff that you actually enjoy doing. Um, of course, the number one uh, would be prayer. Also, you know, prayer has helped my life a lot, you know, my personal beliefs and everything um, have gotten me through um, many hard times in my life. And um, one of the ways also that I cope... Um, with with anxiety is um just getting some quiet alone time to myself just going into my prayer closet as they like to call it and um just completely clearing my mind of any problems any stress whatsoever and just concentrating one-on-one -on -one with god talking um bible in hand <clears throat> and just reading looking for scriptures that are helpful um and talking one-on-one -on -one with god because really that's what prayer is prayer is not reciting a prayer that you learned when when you were little or you know that somebody taught you i mean those are those are those are you know those are good but it's i think it's more helpful when you just sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one talk with god and you just pour out your heart to him and um and it does help it does help because he does answer one way or another you always receive a answer through prayer i mean seek and you shall find <laughs> uh knock and the door will be open to you so that's what prayer is all about seek god and and you know and and he will he will give you answers and 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 the door will be open and you will see clearly what it is that you need to do and, um, like I said, all these things put together have helped my life a lot with, um, with coping with anxiety. It, like I said, it's not a fun thing to have. It's not a, a fun thing to battle with, but also I, I think it's hereditary also. I mean, if you, I have people in my family who, um, who suffer from their nerves and, um, who suffer from one way or another, some form of anxiety or or depression, um, or any form of mental illness, um, or disorder. So, like I said, sometimes, um, sometimes these things could be hereditary or, or, you know, uh, over time, you know, with, um, 
you know, experiences that, that, that life has thrown at you and things that, that, that you have had to uh, deal with or, or, or battle with. And it's, it's, it's stuff that just over time, it, um, it develops in your life because, you know, it's just been, you know, things that maybe you, you weren't prepared or, or, or ready to deal with. And, um, and your body just reacts in that way and, and your mind. So, um, I guess, I guess that's it really. Um, you know, I just wanted, like I said before, I wanted to, to bring this out and, and break the ice because I, I know that not many people who are battling with this already, um, you know, have the guts, have the guts to talk about it or, you know, maybe they feel they're going to be judged or misunderstood or whatever. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted to, once again, I know I'm repeating myself, but yeah, that's what it is to just break the ice and, and let you guys know that um, if you are battling with it and you've never told anybody or spoken about it to anybody, um, just want you to know that you're not alone in this. And I know that there are a lot of people out there who, who battle with this. So, um, you know, I wanted to start this to as a way to um, find other people out there in the YouTube community that um, that are battling with this and just need someone to talk to or someone to just listen to them or whatever. And um, just want you to know that any any questions you have, you can send them my way and and I'm here to help in whichever way I can. So um, like I said, we're all, we're, we're all in this together. So, you know, I am going to continue uh, researching as much as I can and um, just be able to find as more as much uh, helpful information as I can um, to help not only myself but but others out there who are who are battling with this uh, with this um, same exact thing. Um, illness disorder whatever you want to call it um pain in the neck <laughs> so um okay you guys i said i i um i guess that's it really um my next video i already pretty much have an idea what it's going to be about and um what i will be uh, addressing so um it will it will probably have lots more information than this one does because, um, you know, this one I'm just, like, speaking from personal experience. And, um, plus stuff that, I, that I've read online, too. So, I hope that this video in any way um, has been helpful to anyone out there. And, hopefully, it will um, give more people out there the courage to, to come out and talk about this topic. Because I know it's not easy to talk about. And, um, and I'm sure that, um, that I will be getting more, more responses now that I, that I post this video out. So, okay, you guys. So that's it. Um, I hope I'll be getting some feedback soon and some responses, comments, whatever. Feel free to, to leave any comments you want, any questions, uh, whatever it is that you guys may be wondering just go right ahead and give me your feedback and I and I will respond right away. I will respond in another in another video. Okay guys, so bye for now.